Hey guys, Motocar Nut here, and today we're going to be setting up uh, timing for the timing chain and the marks for the oil pump um, uh, counterbalance module. This is a, a Kia Hyundai uh, 2.4 liter non turbo engine. Okay, so now, first thing you're going to do, assuming if this is in the car, you're gonna have to take the timing cover off, obviously, okay? But this is just a setup, however you're getting, if it's in the car, if it's out of the car, it's just how to set up the chain, okay? So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put the engine in top dead center, compression stroke. That's gonna be, you see this mark over here? Okay, there's another mark right here. And it's basically at the main bearing cap. There's a bearing cap right here. You'll see the seam. Okay, it's pretty much in line. And you know, if you, you, know, you stick a screwdriver or whatever in there, as it's coming up on the compression stroke. I don't have the valve timing on, so I don't have to worry about compression stroke right now. I just have to worry about number one cylinder at top dead center. If you have the chain on, uh, well, you, it all depends. If you're putting it all back together, you're going to have to do it the way I'm saying Okay, so top dead center on compression stroke. Crankshaft, okay, the keyway is gonna be like I said, right? In the, right at the, the bearing cap on the bottom and the line right here, the mark. That's important, all right? Now, you're gonna have to set up the um, oil pump gear itself. Now, what you're gonna do, see, it's gotta be set up there's a, there's a mark here that's gonna go to a colored link. But right now they want you to set, set it up because if you turn this, right? You see this mark here and you see this mark here. All right, that little mark in there, it's in between this little space. If you turn this, right? Okay, let's say you didn't know about that, not watching my channel, you think, okay, I'll line it up. You line it up with that mark, you know, mark, to mark, you're good to go. No. Okay, you can turn it again. But ah, I'll do it the other way. All right, you line it up. No. Okay, it takes about three or four times to line that up. So how it ideally has to be is this mark, timing mark, has to align with this mark, and there's gonna be a little pin they want, a little tool they want you to put in there, but you don't have to put that tool. I'll show you what to do but you have to get this mark in line over here. So, let's turn it until it goes. See, still not there. And you always do it clockwise, See, still not there. I think this is gonna be it. Yeah, that's gonna be it, okay? You see the little markers in the center of this, and this is gonna be aligned with this, and I'm gonna show you a little, a little trick, hold on. Okay, there's an extra tool that would like slip in here and go in the valley of the, uh, the gear right there. You don't really need that because as long as you got your mark here, the, the mark here is in between this space and this, this mark is with this little indentation right here. That's it, that's where you gotta be. Now, to put the chain on, and now of course the color link is gonna have to mark up with this one, and then there's a color link that's gonna have to mark up with this one over here. Okay, now to get the chain on, there's a couple of ways to do this. If you already have this module off, then you could just put the chain on, and then put it on the crank, and then put it on here. But if you don't, what you're gonna have to do is take this bolt off. Now this is a little funny looking, but I got a 17 millimeter uh, uh, six point socket on there. And to take it off, you have to go to the right. It's not righty tighty with this one. This is a left hand thread. So in other words, right takes it off, left makes it tight. Okay, take it off and then we'll put the chain on. So now we have the color mark on the bottom, they're usually orange, but whatever. Marks with the indent over there. And then this one, see the little mark here? Is it there? And the crank.
crankshaft is still top dead center. All right, the keyway is vertical. It's in line with the main bearing cap right here. You see the seam? Okay, and that's how it's gotta be done. And see, like I just stuck this in anyway, but you see, like it lines up anyway. You just stick it on your little tool. You know, as long as it's nice, it's in there like that. That's there. And this is in line. That's it. And then what you do, you put your um, uh, chain tensioner here. We'll do that next. It's two millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts, two of them. And we're gonna tighten it up and that's gonna be done. So then you install the intentioner, tighten it, torque the uh, bolts down. Okay, there's a little, I put a little screwdriver, a little screwdriver, a little drill bit in here for the plunger so it's easy to install, you pull that out. So it has tension on it. Okay, just make sure your marks are marked up there. There, the keyway with the crank is there. This one over here, the little line is in, in between this, and that's it. That's the uh, oil pump, all right? Uh, if you wanted to see how we're gonna do the valve timing, I'm gonna do that video next. All right, guys, motor car not, please subscribe. Hit the like button, any questions below, leave them. I answer all my questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.